Today, we're gonna to be looking at the most affordable homes in Waxahachie, Texas. Real quick, before we get this video tour started, I get calls, texts, and emails from people just like you each and every single day looking to make a successful move to the Dallas-Fort Worth area. If that's you and you're looking for some help, definitely reach out to me. We'll set up a time to talk more in depth and figure out how I can best help you make a successful move to the area. Thanks so much, enjoy the tour, and we'll talk soon. So today we're back out in the Dove Hollow neighborhood and we're walking it through and we're just gonna be taking a look at some of the most affordable homes uh, to get into uh, a brand new home. You know, we've covered this uh, neighborhood before and I've showed you the builder models for Trophy Signature as well as Highland Homes in this neighborhood. It just so happens the cheapest entry level home here in the Dove Hollow neighborhood is actually a trophy signature home. So we're going to take a look at those now. Uh, there are a few of them that are available right here at the back of the neighborhood. So we're going to go through, take a look at them and see what they've got. So when I'm looking at the affordable entry level home prices, I'm looking at three bed, two bath, two car garage homes at a minimum. And these trophy signature homes that kind of fit the bill are uh, here at the back of the neighborhood like we talked about. It is 549 Baffin Bay Drive is the first one. That's 364 900 is what the current price point is. Uh, it is a three bed, two bath, 2000 square foot home and currently under construction should be done by November of 2024. Uh, the next one that we're gonna be taking a look at is 537 Baffin Bay. And that one is $377,000. It's a four bed, three bath home uh, with 2185 square foot. Also, like we talked about, is gonna be completed in November, 2024. So those are two of the most affordable entry level size homes uh, that you can get into with you know, a new builder and all the incentives that they offer. Now, if you didn't want the traditional upkeep of a full yard and everything, there are Aspire townhomes that are in the North Grove neighborhood as well. Some here in the North Grove neighborhood and then some north further north of town as well, and I'll show you here in a second, but getting a little bit of aerial view of these townhomes. Right now, these are right around 330 to 340,000, three bed, two and a half bath, and right around 1,500 square foot. So you're getting pretty good value there uh, for you know a great place to call home, but just you know less upkeep. These are the Aspire Town Homes that are right off of 77 and Butcher Road. Also right around the $320,000 price point, three bed, two and a half bath, uh, about 1,550 square foot roughly is, is what these run here. So um, these are you know, also a good deal uh, if you wanna get into a nice place to call home that is just a little less upkeep. And as we get a shot of Highway 77 up north of town here in Waxahachie, this is where a lot of growth is taking place 
in the city. Uh, you can kind of see um, as it spreads out further north here, lots of uh, empty lots and building going on. Also, another thing I do want to touch on is the Northside RV Resort that I'm panning over to right here. Uh, it really is a great place uh, for friends or family that have an RV that want to stay there. We've had uh, family stay there and they really liked it. Uh, you can see there's a pool there. They actually have a pickleball court as well, a pond and walking trails. So it's a great place to kind of stop in if you've got friends or family that have an RV and they're traveling. Another great spot is Atwoods here. Uh, if you don't want to go to Home Depot or Lowe's, uh, Atwoods has a lot of great home goods items as well. Got a little bit of aerial footage of Highway 77 here. This is one of the main arteries through town and it can get backed up with all of the growth that we've had. Now, some of you have been watching my channel for a while and you know that I cover a lot of new construction homes, but you may be thinking to yourself, well, I don't really want a smaller lot. I, don't, I want a place with mature trees. I don't really want an HOA to deal with. So are there any options in and around Waxahachie uh, that could kind of fit my needs without all of the things that a new community has? And yes, there definitely are. So we're gonna switch gears here and we're gonna take a look at some existing inventory in the resale market here in Waxahachie. So first up here on the resale market, we've got 3016 Huntington Court in Waxahachie. This is a smaller home, 1,282 square foot. It was built in 2002. It's got a smaller lot, uh, but there's no HOA. Um, it is, you know, it looks like a great little home here. And it is north of town, just off of Butcher Road, uh, kind of near the RV uh, resort that I showed earlier. So next up here is 202 Cheyenne Drive. And uh, this one's currently listed at 329.9, and uh, it's 2419 square foot. It's four bed, two and a half bath. Uh, so it's a bigger home, really good price per square foot at 136 per square foot. Um, it was built in 2007, and a uh, quiet little neighborhood uh, here. No HOA either, so uh, it is right on the kind of northeast side of town and it's not too far from the Waxahachie Sports Complex that we're getting an aerial view of here. You got a whole lot of softball leagues and other kids leagues that play here and it's definitely utilized throughout the year. Next up here, we've got 624 Jordan Lane. Uh, this is listed right around $275,000. It is 198 per square foot. It's a little bit of a smaller footprint, uh, 1,387 square foot, built in 2006. Uh, this neighborhood does not have an HOA either. So I'm getting some drone footage here of the uh, theater uh, that also has a arcade and a bowling alley in it. So that's definitely something that uh, the kids can do to have fun in and around the area. Next up, we've got 216 Pensacola Avenue. Uh, this is an older home. It was built in 1961, but as you can see, it's been redone nicely. I really like this neighborhood. It's an older neighborhood. As you can see, there's some really nice mature trees in it. And I'm getting some drone footage here of Waxahachie's football stadium, Lumpkin Stadium. Uh, 
And if you know anything about Texas, you know they love the Friday Night Lights. Texas high school football is very, very popular. And I gotta say, this stadium here is really big and uh, it's, a, it's a great place to play at. I was able to play a game there during high school playoffs one time. It was a, a really neat field for sure. The final pre-existing home that we're taking a look at is 114 Auburn Street. Uh, this home was built in 1970. Uh, it looks like it's you know got some repairs that are going on and uh, it does have a pool in the back but it's not currently filled so this is a really nice potential option as well it's got really mature trees in the neighborhood and uh, it's really well located as well well i hope you all enjoyed this video as you can see waxahachie has plenty of entry level housing options whether they're new builds or resale starting off in the $270,000 range, you know, all the way up to the $375,000 range. Uh, there is a lot of potential options in the area. So if I could help you, your friends or family making a successful move to the area, I'd love to be a resource to you. Don't hesitate to reach out to me, whether it's a call, text, or email. I'd be happy to set up some time and talk with you and put together a plan to make your move here a successful one. Thank you all so much and have a great rest of your day.